Welcome back. Time for some 814 Good, sponsored by McMullen Furniture. We always love sharing the good things happening here in the 814. Chef Janet, we know you went through a very difficult time, but somebody here in the 814 wanted to do something special for you. Take a look. At this point, these guys have all passed on to over the Rainbow Bridge, but for instance, this was a unique character. Rachel D'Andre, the owner of Pet Art Studios in Altoona, has been helping people remember their pets for over 40 years. And a woman came with her young son, and they had this dog with, it was a special needs um, dog in training. And that dog's name was Dante. And so my son's name is Dante, so I remembered that dog, and as it continued through the courses of school, it didn't pass. That dog had become a library dog for, for young kids to come to the library and let them pet and let them calm down and be quiet. It was just a therapy dog in a different way. So that, that success story of this piece to me is amazing. From pigs to chickens and of course the more traditional cats and dogs, Rachel shares why creating portraits of pets is something that is so important to her. Pets are with us for a very short amount of time in relationship to human life, essentially. And so their, their um, short lifespan, I think, makes them more part of being a family. And they're not with us that long, so that bond is really intense. Rachel is a dog lover herself. You should, yeah, you want to come with me? My buddy. So when a member of the Central PA community lost her home and her beloved dog, Ravy, in a tragic house fire, Rachel knew just what she could do. Ravy, obviously from Janet's presentation she did, was extreme, it was like her child. Janet De Janeiro is no stranger to the Lifestyle Show Studio 814, and instead of being in the kitchen, that day she came to share her story of her loss. For a few minutes I thought I had lost my husband because I couldn't find him, but I lost my baby dog. Her name was Ravy Gravy. It intrinsically and instinctually, I knew I could do something for her to bring her out of that tragic moment, which will live with her for a while, but at least something colorful of Ravy might bring her to a more positive side of the tragedy and help her move on and rebuild. Janet De Janeiro is a personal chef who brings joy to each person she encounters. And speaking of fall, we're making sweet, sweet potato, potato pie. pie. And when I told you I was making sweet potato pie, you said, you're my sweet potato. I did. And that touched my heart. <laughs> Originally a Tennessee native, she's been bringing her love of Southern cooking to Central PA for years. This is a nice big <laughs> skillet of cornbread. No joke spared in the kitchen. Why did Wonder Woman not go out with Mr. Freeze? Why? Because he gave her the cold <gasps> show. <laughs> Rachel knew she had to do what she could for Chef Janet, a woman who brings so much joy to everyone. Using a photo of Janet's black lab gravy gravy, Rachel created a memorial portrait. Um, I started doing this as a kid and I realized the importance of the artwork that I do. It might be just because they admire that pet so much, but because animals don't have the lifespan that we do, it's important that they want them to stay forever with them. And so through my artwork, they're able to keep that part of joy when they see it. If a, if a dog or a kitty or a pet passes, that stays with them and so does that emotion. It, it helps heal. It's very healing. Okay, and now oh. we have to bring on out the gift. Woo. It's actually two gifts because it's Rachel DeAndre, and she is bringing Hello. the wonderful gift. Oh, how beautiful! Oh, oh come on, <laughs> sit down, Rachel. Sit down. So the piece is finished. Look at this. Thank you oh so much. Oh my gosh! What it's do you think? She got the nails too. Real hard to toenails. Oh, this hey, is you for she pampered her girl. This is the kindest thing. Oh, oh, Rachel, I love you. That's what it's all about. That is what the 814 is all about, and that's why we had to share this story. You know, after you were on the show, <laughs> Rachel, you reached out. You said, hey, I need that picture of Ravy. 
and, and these are the moments. And that these are the moments. And, and this looks just like her. Oh, well, good. It's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I was here that tragic day yes. with oh a client. And so I've always been connected to you because I think you're a fabulous person. Oh. And you do a lot for everyone else. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's your turn to receive today. Oh, and I, you know, I've been given this gift of art, and it's very important to me around the holidays. I always, I always love stories. I love the people that I get to work with. And so this is my way of giving back and creating the memory for you, Janet, well, and of Ravy. And Bobby. Bobby will get to see that, too. Yeah, I He's know it. it. And I just love that dog so much, and I miss her every day. Well, hopefully this will help you. Thank yeah. you. I know she's at the Rainbow Bridge having a good time. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, Jess, thank you so much for sharing your story, ladies. That's what we, that's what Street Wait 